Well, speaking of questioning uh, large retailers, yeah. we got to go to headline number five. Chris, Chewy co-founder Ryan Cohen has taken an almost 10% stake in Bed Bath & Beyond. And this guy is out for blood. He is pushing for <laughs> some major changes at Bed Bath & Beyond. So you guys, I, you have got to read this article, like full article, dive in, get yourself a cocktail on a Friday night and enjoy because it is spectacular. According to the Wall Street Journal, Cohen's plan for Bed Bath & Beyond is simple. He urges the company to take two main steps. One, to narrow the focus of its turnaround plan and maintain the right inventory mix to meet demand. And two, to explore a separation of the Bye Bye Baby chain or a sale of the entire company. Chris, you brought this to my attention. Yeah. I am so thankful you did. <laughs> uh, what, what, like, bring us your, your whole collective world of thoughts and, and your opinions on Mr. Cohen here. For sure. Yeah. It was funny for those listening, like, and, and came to me this morning. She's like, Oh my God, I read this shareholder letter. It's amazing. It's yeah. And, it's so and brilliant. I, I, I gotta tell you when I first read the headline and I was like, okay, here we go again, Mr. Cohen and his ego thinking he can sweep in totally. with his retail genius from Chewy and save another dying brand, you know, after what he's currently trying to do at GameStop. But then I read his points in that were laid out in the Wall Street Journal. And then I read his letter to the board. And I got to tell you, this guy is my new hero. It's like, it's like the Martin Luther 99 thesis. It's oh. like crazy. Like, all right, Bed Bath & Beyond, let's do this. It was so great. Like, there's one point where he 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 said he basically boldly asked, how can the exec team at Bed Bath & Beyond pay themselves $36 million a year last year, given their performance? And I'm like, Yes. Fair point. Yes. Great point. And then he goes on to question what we have questioned numerous times, which is the underlying strategy of the Bed Bath exec team and how it has no real teeth, which it doesn't. I've said that thousands of times. We've argued it on the show with countless people on social media. Private label is not a strategy. It doesn't work. And then the point that I love, too, is like that what he says about spinning off Bye Bye Baby just makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Like that space. There's no one that occupies the baby registry no. space, especially with the dissolution of, of Babies Are Us. Us. Yep. You know, you're really only options now are Target and Walmart and Amazon and Amazon. Mm -hmm. And for a physical experience with baby registry, there's still an important aspect oh, of that as absolutely. a first time mom. Linda and, still wants to buy a baby shower gift in person. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. like and many other Linda, grandmothers and, and grandma Omni talk does. That, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, you know, it makes me go back to this thesis, too. Like they're probably using it as a cash cow to like pay themselves handsomely. And yes. And I just, I freaking love it. I think there's going to be, where there's smoke, there's going to be even more fire on this story as we've been going along. We've been on this topic for quite a while. I actually give us credit for being one of the first people to see like what's really going on here. And Mr. Cohen, I got to hand it to you, man. You are my new favorite activist. Yes. And I don't, I don't think I have a favorite activist. So you're, a, you're in a category of one. Yeah. He's like the John Oliver of board members. Right. He's just like coming at people. Analogy. It's amazing. Um, not much that I have to add here, Chris, other than, you know, we need to get this guy on more retailer boards because when he speaks, people listen. I mean, GameStop is a great example. Um, the market responds to, um, I think that, you know, especially given his chewy background, I love that he's, he's yeah. saying like, look at what we did. I understand the psychology of humans and what they're willing to spend on their fur babies. Like let's make bed bath and beyond like and spin off like bye bye baby how do you make that the ultimate destination for baby purchasing and like you said there's still a huge gap in the market there so there's a lot of potential yeah that's great actually and i don't know if people know this but too but i ran the baby department for target for a couple of years and god that's actually one job that would think i would think about coming out of retirement if he ends up yeah. pulling this off oh yeah like to head that up oh my god absolutely be fantastic. absolutely